Most people are looking at PDL1 as a biomarker because a lot of the anti PD1 and anti PDL1 clinical trials in patients with bladder cancer are looking very promising. And so there's there are ongoing investigations to try and understand which predictive biomarkers may predict which patients are going to respond, which patients are not going to respond to therapy. PDL1 has come out as a biomarker that a lot of people are using. And so I was really just talking about the idea that PDL1 is a dynamic biomarker. It changes over time, and we may not be able to use it as a predictive biomarker because looking at the PDL1 status either on immune cells or tumor cells um, by itself may not give us enough information about the evolving immune response. So I really just presented some data to say that there might be other biomarkers such as CD8 T cells, CD45 oral memory cells, Granzyme B, which is an indication of cytolytic T cells or activated T cells. These may be other biomarkers that we need to investigate. So for now, I concluded though that there PDL1 is not the best biomarker to use, at least not by itself, and we need to do further investigations to look at other biomarkers.